time, only front torps. Good luck. And let's go! Le Siphon, Tyrone, Bytec, Hi Nish, Nish, Nishino, Hasaman TV, and many others. Welcome aboard. I'm glad you like it. You're free to watch, you're free to join. It is Sunday Fun Day. I am not picking names here, boys. It's completely random. I cover your names with my hand, with one hand, and with the other, I'm just piling you in there. So no preferences. Nobody can say, oh, you're constantly picking the same players because you like them more or because they're your subs or... No. I'm picking you on random. So everybody gets a chance. Only front torps this time. Okay, just to quickly, for those of you who maybe haven't seen how the route looks like. Here you go. Red team goes from number one, start, to the left side of this island, to number two, then to arrow number three, down the middle, passing through the middle, can channel, canal, whatever, through the arrow number four, up around the other island to the uh, number five, and then through the channel again, and once you enter your own cap, that's it. The green team does the same thing, just from the other side. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so now we have- st we still have two carriers, which are still pretty fucking powerful. Uh, okay, well, okay. That's part of there. Only front torps. Only front torps. Only front torps. Only front torps. Don't kill each other's planes, CVs. Oh, come on. Well, it's one. As long as you see single torpedoes, that means everybody is obliging. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> User disconnected from your channel. Alright. So, carriers are not allowed to touch each other's strikes. Strike packages, and they're not allowed... Uh, to shoot down each other's fighters. The fighters are used there for scouting. And strike packages are used to, you know, get as many kills as you can. Now, I, I basically forbid each other to touch each other's planes because there's not a lot. Tier 4 carriers really don't get a lot of planes. So that would not be fair. And uh, the race is going to last too long <laughs> for you guys to run out of you guys to run out of planes so everybody allowed to you know do the free strikes and you have to you know be a little imaginary when to do it because there's only auto drops allowed because it's tier 4 there are no manual drops uh dds are only allowed to do the front torpedoes because every single time that the carriers could do oof, every single time that the carriers could do more than just front torpedoes um, everybody killed each other. Holy shit, I actually hit him. Everybody literally killed themselves, and the game was without the winner. Oh, he's way too fast for that. Okay. Oh, you can turn off your AA. I actually can turn on our AA. That's the only defense we have. If we can maybe... Just maybe shoot some of their planes down. Maybe that'd be easier for us. Who knows? Geisel, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the team, man. Much appreciated. Oh, making it a bit uncomfortable for the Kaspadov here. But can't really say. Is that how you want to do it? Nice! Nice! Okay. Okay, now I have to be careful for Pred. Yeah, you little sneaky bugger. Let's see what you're trying to do. 
Okay. Alright! The first V25 from both teams who finishes the race wins the prize. The prize is Tachibana Premium Tier 2 or Tier 3 ship with a port slot this time. And the carrier? Uh, the carrier gets also some camos and stuff. Now let's do it like that. And like that. Yeah, uh, not just not gonna let me go. All right. Well, so far a lot less killings. I told you, there has been certain certain people dying, but it's far less than before. Four from my team, five from their team. So half, after half of the race, half of the ships are still alive, which is good. That's the whole point. All right. And the carriers have two kills in my team, zero kills in the opposing team. All right. So far, so good. How many guys are in front of us? Three right now. All right, considering we were starting one of the last. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, I know how I'm going to get rid of you, buddy. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, man. I can't let you live. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Woo! Oh, no. Fuck. That's gonna be enough. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> we both got taken out. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. Well, that was a good chance for me to get rid of that guy, but it was also a good good way for that guy to get rid of some of us and get carried, well, torpedoed. Well, all right, now we get a chance to see what else is going on. Let's see. We have, ooh, three guys from the enemy team. I do beg our carrier, either Oro Jackson or Galaxy, to keep an eye on the middle so we can actually see what's going on. When their torpedo planes are not there, get your fighters would appreciate it. All right, so it's Bezaliel leading right now. Oh, the Padre goes down. It's Bezaliel and Helmi right now racing and they are done with half of the race. Now they have to make it through the other, uh, around the other island. Oh, I did not expect that. Holy shit, that's terrible. That is terrible. Those dive bombers were fucking nasty. Very nasty. I mean, I know the tier 4 carriers don't have a lot of secondaries, but still. Alright, so we have... Uh, Bezaliel. That is getting dropped, but that's an easy dodge. That's an easy dodge. Just look at the size in between the torpedoes. Okay, here he wouldn't have made it, but here and here, easy. Alright, he's leading right now. And we have Wyvern, who is behind him. They're both in full HP, I believe. We just don't have eyes on Bezaliel right now, but uh, I hope the friendly carriers will give us eyes on that. Diego Brando and Le Siphon are doing a pretty... Have done a pretty good circle. They have went through there, through the middle, and they're already... Oh, wow, they're actually finishing the race right now. They just need to enter the friendly cap. So, Le Siphon is actually the first one. Diego Brando is the second one in my team. And we have Bezaliel and Vyvern. Okay, they survive. All right, the leaders from both, both teams survive. Let's see what carriers are going to have to say about this. This is not over yet. Yeah, this is a death match right here. Alright, let's see if the number one gets taken out by number two. Oh, my lord. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, he took more than he can bite. 
Oh, lucky there. Slow down, man. Jesus, Viren, you need to slow down, bro. Eager to not lose his speed. Almost costed him his life. Yeah, he's trying to catch the Bezaliel. All right, they are all through. Well, now it's up to Carriers to stop Le Siphon or he wins. Yeah, Brando is just beached. That is definitely, that is definitely a match for him. Unless the Carriers stop that guy, we'll see. And Bezaliel and Viren actually have to make it all the way around this island. And then through the middle. And who's the first one who reaches this border wins. But we got, I think, our first winner of the tournament today. I think we got ourselves the first winner. And even with only front torpedoes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he takes one, but he's alive. Oh, there's Chief Dog out of nowhere. Chief Dog appears out of nowhere. Haven't even seen the guy yet. He's a third. Oh, he could have still messed some plans. We'll see. Maybe he gets, he gets messed in the return. Oh, he does. Okay. Nice execution there. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, we got ourselves the first winner. First winner. All right. Congratulations. Brando is second, but unfortunately, there's no... There is no prize for the seconds. Now, let's see from the enemy team. Can the Bezaliel win this? He's been leading this basically entire match. He's been leading the entire match. Can Wyvern do something about it from that distance? Or can these carriers stop him dead in his tracks? Oh, that looks kind of dangerous. Whew, close enough, close enough. But every time the carrier drops this guy... Oh, Jesus Christ, Galaxy, turn off your secondaries. If you kill Wyvern, that would not be fair. Every time the carriers drop Bezaliel, it's getting easier for Wyvern. He's catching up. He doesn't have to do any maneuvers while Bezaliel has to. Let them pass. Let them pass. All right. Let's see. Oh, Brando is actually going to block some torps here. E oh my god, it was so close. That was so close. Let's see if he can drift. No, he's good. He's good. So far, so good. Okay, Wyron actually caught up some... He caught up some... Uh, some speed, he's gaining on him. He's gaining on him, but I don't think the carriers have any more juice left in them. This is now... I think this is game over. These two have performed very nice. These two have performed very nice, but I do believe that nothing can stop Bezaliel now. I think... Although even Diego there, or whoever it was, blocked one of the torps. I don't think that had anything to... Oh! Alright. Well, that seals the deal. That was the last carry who could have stopped one of them, and he failed. So, Oro Jackson with four kills. Send me a PM. The prize going out for you for the top kills of the carriers. And we finally have ourselves the first winner. Of the of both teams, Le Siphon for my team and Le, uh, sorry Bezaliel for the red team. Congratulations, second winner. Oops, winner Bezaliel. Send me PMs and Tachibanas are yours. Now leave the match. That was intense. That was intense, but all right, that's a perfect balance, it would seem. Carriers still get enough kills to duke it out in between themselves. And the DDs have enough torpedoes to make it kind of interesting, but not too much to kill each other. That was probably the most fun I've had in Sunday 